What is up peeps? Welcome back to another video today. We are going to be going over a way to use Google Earth that will probably help you catch more fish. It's been really windy here lately in Texas and so I actually found this this week as I was kind of scrolling through Google Earth trying to find some new spots to fish when the wind dies down a little bit. This is particularly going to be helpful if you go after a lot of redfish. It's going to kind of help you look into some of the marshes and stuff a little bit better using Google Earth. But with that said, let's go ahead and get my computer fired up and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this trick from everything from downloading the software to going into Google Earth and finding and basically analyzing your favorite fishing spot to maybe find something you weren't aware of before that might help you catch some more fish in the future. So let's go ahead, hop on my computer and get into it. First things first guys, you're going to want to have either Google Earth, I don't know, Bing, whatever you guys use to, you know, browse the internet. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in to Google and we're just going to type Google Earth versions. I just Google Earth, make sure you type in versions. So we're going to go type in Google Earth versions and we're going to search that. And this link right here is going to come up. It says Earth versions dash Google Earth. That's the one you want to click. So we're going to go into that one, and this is the page that it should pull up. If you're not on this page, go back, do that, type it in, Google Earth versions, make sure you get onto this page. And so from here, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down the page right here to where it says download Earth Pro on desktop. And you want to click that. It's going to come with a little window down here in the bottom left. You're going to click run. It's going to install it in your computer real quick. It's not a big file. It goes pretty fast. And I mean, it doesn't take very long. I already have it downloaded on my computer, but go ahead and do that real quick. And while we're waiting for you guys and you're installing that, my name is Kay. This is Tides Fishing. Do all kind of saltwater fishing videos, kind of tips and tricks like this, a lot of fishing videos as well. So if you're into that, and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new here, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss when all the new episodes come out. But with that said, we're going to go ahead and continue on with this. Hopefully, Google Earth downloaded for you by now. All the technical stuff is out of the way. What we're going to do now is open up the program, go into it, and go up here in the top left to the search bar. This is where you're going to type in the area that you want to go to, or the area that you want to fish or look at, and then you're going to kind of zoom in, you know, the marsh or whatever particular spot you want to analyze. And so here we're going to go look at and check out Boggy Bayou. And so you can kind of see here on this image, you can't see a whole lot. It's kind of blurry, not the best quality. And so this trick here that's going to let you kind of look at better images is that up here in the top corner, there's a little clock with the arrow on top of it. You want to click that. That's going to be a show historical imagery. Now I've already clicked it and it's going to pull up this little timeline right here. And so once you get this timeline, all you got to do is go in here, click this little arrow and it's going to pull up different images. And so we're going to kind of start clicking through these images, see if we can get one. Boom. Here we go. This image right here, this image is a hundred times better than the one on the, that we were looking at previously. Now, as you can see, all these cuts, you can see them much better grass, all these different you know, spots where the water is lower, water is higher. A lot more to see here. And so this is going to let you kind of analyze your spots much better. Whether you're going to be fishing incoming tide, outgoing tide, you can really see where these cuts in, where they begin. Let's look a little bit more at this place. Yeah, getting back in here in Boggy, you can really see some of these other areas. Right here, it looks like two little sandbars, maybe with some grass around them. Um, let's see if you can see them on the last pictures. So this is another great example looking at the water here with this picture you can't see anything that's going on so when you click back on this picture now look at this you can see 10 times more what you can see you have a little sandbar area here looks like with some grass around it even kind of going back in here farther you can see these little patches that you had no clue existed by looking on the previous image so what this is going to let you do is kind of go in to your fishing spots and really just get a better bird's eye view of what's going on now, if you are fishing deeper water, this is tricks probably not going to work. This is primarily for saltwater fishermen. Those of you guys who are fishing flats, doing a lot of kayak fishing back in some marsh areas, this is just going to allow you to see the contours of the bottom a little bit better. But Google Earth is a great tool. I highly recommend if you're not using it before. It's great for playing out your fishing trips, finding new spots. Definitely download it if you don't have it. This trick is only available on the desktop version on your computer so you cannot do this trick on your phone or uh, iPad I don't think but so make sure you get the desktop version as it is a little bit more handy nonetheless that's kind of the gist of what I wanted to show you guys so I hope you guys found that helpful 
if you enjoy the video and think you're gonna use this for yourself somehow hit the like button let the YouTube algorithm know that this video was worth watching it helps me helps the channel helps us grow um, our little fishing community that we got going on here but besides that guys thanks for watching planning to get on the water here in the next week we got a lot of low wind coming up so hopefully gonna have some good kayak fishing content coming for you guys so look forward to seeing y'all in the next one and that's it peace